In this world, I only get one chunk. However, as the series continues, the world grows alongside it, each episode unlocking more of the world for us to explore. This is episode 9, so the border is going to expand 9 blocks. Today's episode is really exciting because by the end of this episode, I want to have a beacon, which means we're going to have to fight the wither and that is going to take a whole lot of preparation. But first of all, I know I say this every time, but look how big this world is getting. I have an ocean now. I have, I have black ink and we are getting closer and closer to our first spruce trees. I am so excited to have spruce wood, but there's no more time to mess around. If I'm going to fight a wither today, I'm going to need to make some preparations. Speaking of preparations, I think it's time to get ready for our first order of business. But um, my mob farm seems a little slow. I think I might need to fix that. See, this mob farm is more important than you'd think. It's my best source of XP, but it relies on there being nowhere else in the world for mobs to spawn, except in this farm. But not only did I not explore underground last episode, the border has just expanded again, and now there's a lot of caves underground for mobs to spawn in that I need to go light up. The mobs may not be here, but I definitely hear them somewhere around here. No way, what just happened? Yeah, so this actually happened way more times than you'd expect. What? Why does this keep happening? What? Were they always there? I ran around underground trying to dig to anywhere I could hear mobs. I discovered some small caves, some spooky caves, and I even discovered a giant cave. Oh, what have I just ran into? Oh, what have I just ran into? That's not, that's not right. Oh, they are they're just having problems down there. All right, you know what? Screw it. I'm ready for a war. Let's do it. Let's do it. In total, I spent a little over an hour lighting up everywhere I could find underground. And afterward, my mob farm was working much faster. Now this is more like how I remember this mob farm being. And now that that's working, it's time for me to ask you to subscribe. Are you subscribed to the channel? It's 2023 and our first goal of the year is to hit 5 million subscribers. So if you aren't subscribed, do your part and press that button. It only takes a second and with your help, let's see just how fast we can hit this goal. Now that my mob farm's working again, I can now repair all my tools and get prepared for the next thing. I sat at the mob farm for a while, repairing all my tools. Well, not all my tools. Oh, I am so stupid. I've been standing here for ages trying to repair these two tools that don't have mending on them. That was not my brightest moment. You may have noticed I currently have perfectly enchanted netherite armor, but my tools could clearly still use some work. So for my next task, I'm heading to the nether. See, not only is the overworld restricted by this world border, but the nether is limited the exact same way. So previously, I was only able to find enough ancient debris in this world to upgrade my armor. But now that the border has expanded a lot more, I'm going to uncover every single piece of ancient debris within the border and hopefully have enough to upgrade all my tools too. But I'm a little nervous because I feel like I'm going to, going to be absolutely overwhelmed by mobs down here. Oh, here they come. Oh boy. Oh boy. So how much further has the border expanded? It's been two episodes since I've mined in the nether now. That far. That's quite a lot of space. I had previously created this labyrinth of tunnels across all Y levels where ancient debris could spawn. And now I'm going to extend all these tunnels to reach the world border again and find every piece of ancient debris along the way. <gasps> That did not take long at all. What that was, that was not intentional. Please give me that back. <gasps> yes, finally, it's been so long since I found one of these. Oh, this is a uh, predicament. Hey. Number three, four, five, yes. That may even be the first vein of three I've found in this world. 
Hey. Huh. I wonder what happens if I break this block. Oh. I had now searched one of five layers in the nether, and I managed to find six additional ancient debris. But the problem is, it took me about 35 minutes to search this layer, and I still had four more to go. Oh, that's a great find. Three. Three just straight up and down. Ooh. We found two more. I was mining in the nether for a long time. So occasionally, my pickaxes would get quite low on durability, and I'd have to resort to either picking fights with piglins or making a quick trip to the overworld to repair my tools. Once I'd finished the second layer, I had 11 ancient debris. But let's speed this thing up, because that is nothing compared to what I end up with in the end. <gasps> I'm literally choking because I just found ancient debris, but it's underneath some lava. What? This is a lucky spot. What, what is going on? Insane. Oh, another two. I'm having great luck today. Oh my. Beautiful. Hello. I spent close to three and a half hours mining for ancient debris, and I was checking in every corner. And after I had searched everywhere ancient debris could be within my boundaries, I had found a grand total of 40 ancient debris, which is pretty insane. I'm pretty happy with that. This bit is always the funnest part. Oh, it feels so good. So with all the mining I've done in the nether today, I am leaving with enough netherite ingots to make a block of netherite. Oh, only 163 more of these things and I can make a netherite beacon. And uh, speaking of beacon, we're actually meant to be making one of those today. But before I move on, I have to put my netherite to use by finally upgrading all of my tools. As far as I can tell, both my pickaxes are already perfect in terms of enchantments. So let's go ahead and make them netherite. But unfortunately, not all my tools were perfected yet. I still had enchantments to find for my sword, shovel, axe, bow, and one other special tool. That's right, today we're making the perfect hoe. That's not quite good enough. We will not settle for an efficiency three diamond hoe. Most of the enchantments I needed were quite easy. Finding efficiency five and unbreaking three on my shovel and hoe was no challenge at all. And the mending I bought from my librarian earlier. But today I wanted to make the perfect tools. And there was two enchantments I was chasing. Fire aspect two to complete my sword and a sharpness five book to put on my ax. And maybe I'm not the best at enchanting, but finding these two enchantments took me a while. Do I really want to miss the opportunity to get a sharpness three book? I might have to take that. See, I'm not sure if I'm wrong, but sharpness three seemed to be the highest sharpness I could find on a book. And to get just one of these, I had to cycle through a ton of different book enchantments and then get my levels back above 30 before I could secure one book. And I'd need to do this four times to get sharpness five. The other thing I can't believe I forgot is I'm trying to make a better bow as well. I'm currently only using this bow. That's exactly what we needed. Do I still have it? Yeah, screw it, I still have it. Oh, I still have it. By this stage, I had everything I needed to make my perfect set of tools. And it was just a matter of combining it all, which of course meant more waiting around at the mob farm. But it wasn't too much longer until everything was complete. The bow, the sword, the ax, the shovel, and of course, the netherite hoe. I have finally completed my set of enchanted netherite equipment. Oh, I did also enchant my shield. I almost forgot. And now I'm heading back to the nether because I need three wither skulls to spawn the wither. And from memory, I'm pretty sure, yeah, I have one already. And if you didn't remember that, don't worry because I have no idea how I managed to remember that. Oh, my first wither skeleton. No way. So now we need to head back to the nether and we need to get just two more wither skeleton skulls. The chance to get a wither skull from one of these dudes is 5.5% with looting three. So I might have to kill close to 20 of these guys before finding another skull. Come on, just give me amazing luck. Make this video easy. Oh my, you're kidding. You're actually kidding. Imagine it was two for two, but still. Oh, that's incredible. This might not even be that bad. I got off to an incredible start, but this still didn't mean it was going to be quick. I only had a limited amount of nether fortress unlocked so far. So between each wither skeleton encounter was up to five minutes of running around waiting for another to spawn. Okay, so it's been about 15 minutes and I've managed to find, I think about eight wither skeletons. I mean, I'm finding them faster now and this could be it. It wasn't it. Oh my. Wait, I haven't been down here, have I? <gasps> no, 
No. No, no, no. Oh boy. Bro is just cosplaying as a wither skeleton. Wait, I wonder. This may be stupid. Will you pick that up? Oh my god. Bro is literally cosplaying as a wither skeleton. After 30 minutes, it finally happened again. Oh, there we go. That wasn't even too bad. Now that I had three wither skulls and a bit of soul sand, I had everything I needed to spawn the wither. But where should I fight it? There is a couple options I'm considering. Number one is fighting the wither here in this massive cave I found earlier. Although I feel like this could be a little too safe. So the other thing I'm considering is fighting the wither above ground. However, doing so in the sky. Therefore, it's still safe, but there is the risk. If I do die, it will let a wither loose above ground and potentially ruin everything. Everything I've done in this video has been in preparation to fight this wither. And now that I've built my arena in the sky, it's finally time to spawn the wither and get that beacon. And I haven't fought a wither in a while, but look, I have all the most overpowered stuff in the game. I can't see this going wrong. Let's do it. Oh, wait, I actually am nervous. Why am I nervous? All right, let's go, wither. What have you got? Ooh. You may notice I'm not saying much. That's because although I am doing completely fine, I was really feeling the pressure of this battle. And there was still plenty of ways that this could go wrong. Not that I would let it go wrong. I just realized I'm not talking. This is actually way more intense than I thought it would be. Why is it floating over me so much? I'm actually nervous. It's got to be close to the sword portion soon. Here it is. Oh god, that was actually way more intense than I thought it would be. All right, well, at some stage, I'm now going to have to tear apart this whole thing. But for now, let's just start here, grab a few of these, and now let's go make our beacon. And using the glass I got from my librarian earlier, I can finally craft our beacon. There it is. Okay, but this, this isn't done yet. Obviously, now we need to actually set up a full beacon and thankfully a full tier 4 beacon is going to be no problem because we can just make it out of iron so it will be absolutely no problem getting the blocks to make this thing if i was to place this beacon above ground its effects wouldn't reach me underground so it's actually best i place the beacon at the bottom of the world but for that i'm gonna have to dig down my luck with this is incredible Well, there you have it. Maybe not the prettiest thing right now, but who's to say that one day I don't decorate this room or maybe even upgrade this beacon to gold, emerald, netherite even? I now have a beacon that provides the haste to effect across all of my world. It means I'm going to be able to cut down trees so much faster and I'm going to be able to mine and explore underground so much faster as well especially when it's just stone. But behind the scenes in this video, some exciting stuff happened completely unrelated to the beacon. But I'm fairly certain... Oh, hang on, egg. <gasps> it actually happened, finally. We got our second chicken. Wait a second. Wait a second. What? What is it? How did... When did not even relevant to what I'm doing at all, but somehow today I've managed to get my second chicken and a second sheep. When did you show up? I managed to make a lot of improvements today. I now have a beacon in my world, and I finally completed my full set of enchanted netherite equipment. So what will the next goal in the series be? The border is starting to grow a lot each episode, so make sure to subscribe to keep following along the journey and find out just what secrets we'll uncover in the future.